Welcome into the latest edition of Extra Time. Craig and Stevie here in the studio. And in Monaco, Gab Marcotti. Let's ask you the boring, typical uh, question when anyone goes to Monaco. Gab, how much is a beer? Uh, I don't know, but there's one in my mini bar, which I'm going to crack open. Um, no, don't do that, Gab. Imagine no, it. No. We've got to be a wee shopper in the corner, Gab. <laughs> yeah. got to be. I, I, <laughs> actually, you know what? Uh, it's interesting because... Um, I, I sat down with uh, uh, some UEFA folks, some guys from from, from certain clubs, oh. and I think we had we had two rounds of pints. I think there were six of us, 12. and it came to one hundred and fifty nine euros. So that's oh, about I don't know. That's about, no, about eleven, twelve each. That's not sixteen, seventeen dollars, a yeah, little more. Mm. I'm, that's hard to believe. No, have you been to Monaco, Stevie? No, but I've been to places a lot less exotic and it's been a lot, lot more expensive. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Wait, wait. Craig, what's... Oh, hold on, hold on, I'm kind of lost here. <laughs> You've been to places... Not quite as... Not quite Monaco, but more Not expensive. Monaco, than, but than... more expensive, aye. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, Craig, was selling McTominay smart considering his performances last season for Manchester United? He's gone he, to Napoli. Yeah, he, he was a really good player for them, particularly coming off the bench. Uh, uh, I mean, you're taking a player out of the squad. Uh, things I never thought you'd see. Scott McTominay going to Napoli. Yeah. But Billy Gilmer possibly going to Napoli. <laughs> you know, but uh, he's wholehearted, gets his quarter goals, does a good job for you. I think as a squad player, they're going to they're going to miss that. There's there's no doubt you're going to miss a guy who can come off the bench, not the most subtle of players, but makes a difference. And that's what he was. Right. It was the first thing I thought of was, I'm glad that he's not coming off the bench at the weekend against Liverpool. Oh. Because when they've needed a goal, it seems like he's the one. Yep. Popped up. He's gone. So he's gone. All good, Liverpool win. Don't need to worry about him now. Uh, Gab, how many more Anthony. weeks? How many more weeks will the Conte Napoli relationship last? <laughs> well look, I they, they played really well. They 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 won at the weekend. Right now they're all excited about Lukaku, so uh, I, I think it, look, Conte does well in his first season, right? Uh, you can wonder about the new the new signings, and you know, certainly you guys are talking about McTominay there. Let me put it this way: you guys seem to like McTominay a lot more than my uh, Gavin Jules podcast co-host Jules does, because uh. he treats McTominay like some kind of figure of fun. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens because you know if he's likely to play sort of some version of the. Of, of, of the three five two or or the three four two one, whatever you want to call it, um, does he see McTominay as that attacking midfielder? Um, so I, I'll be really curious to see what he does with him, or is he just going to use him again as uh, somebody to come off the bench? But um, no, I, I think Conte often has done well in his first season uh, at most clubs he's been at. He knows what he wants. He knows he got the players he wanted. We may not all agree that these are the right players, but the right players for him that's what matters so i think they can do okay and then usually it's towards the end of season one heading into season two that's where the problems start stevie how excited are you for the new champions league draw you're gonna miss it there's no balls this time it's all computer no, generated. No. Mm -mm. Oh, oh sorry gab is that, no. there are balls there are balls you'll oh. be pleased to know we were sat down I'm sure you want to hear this in detail um, we had the, uh, the, the the people from UEFA. We also had the people who, <laughs> you're gonna love this, people who made the software that's gonna do kind of the, the automatic part of the draw. And right. so you had those guys up on stage as well. You can imagine that part was riveting. But um, they will draw balls, in fact, because they, they need something for the legends to do. Uh, I think it's gonna be Buffon, Cristiano Ronaldo, will we'll, we'll both be in attendance. The thing is, they'll just kind of, they'll draw a ball and say, like, Liverpool comes out and they'll draw a ball from for, for among the nine pot one teams. And then the computer will tell us, okay, Liverpool are going to play these eight opponents. Then they'll oh. draw another ball, Bayern Munich, right. and they're going to play these eight opponents. It's okay. probably a little redundant and pointless to draw the ball for that. But, you know, we've all gotten used to it. And we, had, we need something for the legends to do. Okay, I see. I'll right. be honest. I'm wait, waiting for this. This is, can only give you something positive about the draw. Oh, yeah. I can only... Looking forward to the change, few, embracing... Few things, oh, in, few things in life <laughs> can be less 
could be less tediously boring right. and useless. Right. And sitting through. What would you prefer to do? Word or, or watch the Champions the League draw? The broadcast of a Champions League draw. Right. No matter who's there. But there's a computer now and there's a ball. Oh. I mean, to just sit and watch that from start to finish. Oh. You just want somebody to hit me over the head right. with a very heavy hammer. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, when the draw's made, we'll see what the draw is. Right. They just they, they, they drag <laughs> everything out these days. They just drag everything out. OK. It's just... <laughs> so, you won't, so you won't be watching tomorrow? I won't be watching. What? I won't even... I won't even know. <laughs> Who will? Well, so I don't. Who will? Gab will be, be there. Watching? You could Gab. Gab could FaceTime yeah, you he's from getting, there. He's got Gab's paid to go and do the draw. <laughs> Gab can FaceTime. I'm not paid to watch the draw, and I shan't be watching the draw. Somebody will tell me what the draw is. There you go. At some point, there and I will have missed the hour oh. plus of tedious, hideous, <laughs> boring TV. Uh, uh, Gab. Well, so, so uh, I, I, I will think of Craig tomorrow because the way the way it goes is obviously they, the teams in pot one, they find out who their eight opponents are. But as yes. you go on, like, the teams in pot two, they will already know what pot one teams uh, <laughs> they're, they're Gap, playing. <laughs> so what I'm saying is by the fun. time you get to pot four, I, I would call that the Craig Burley pot right. because they're Nobody's going to draw listening. the balls out. You know what teams are coming. <laughs> right. And you're going to know what six of the eight opponents already are. Yeah. Right. I think that part will start to get a little bit tedious. Oh, no. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm pot one. Yeah, I'm pot one all the way. In fact, I'm not even, I'm, I'm hello. Okay. Welcome. There you go. that time you've lost me. Hello and welcome to the Champions League draw. Oh. Goodbye. Oh. Uh, Gab, get can lost. I sleep on your sofa during the Oasis reunion show? At the O2. <laughs> At the O2. Yeah, yeah. good luck. Good luck that ever happening. What's, what's wrong with you? <laughs> They're going to fall out before this. Oh, the money. Absolutely. Oh, no, no, the allure of the money. And, until the, until they're both standing on stage yeah. singing yes. or playing the guitars or whatever they're doing, yes. this thing could fall apart at any stage. Right, so you're not going for tickets? You won't be up early on you've Saturday got morning? You've got to head. Why? Wait, Who's going to be off their head? Who's going to be off your head? What do you want to buy tickets for that for? Well, because it's Oasis. It's a reunion. Hey. I'm getting tickets. I'll, I'll tell you what, I'm not a betting man, but I would put money on. If you get your money back, don't you, if it doesn't happen? Well, we'll see. <laughs> Wait, we'll did you see. say they're, they're, they're playing the O2? Uh, Don has got a friend at the O2 he sold us yesterday, and he's going to sort him out some tickets. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, what, sorry, I thought Oasis... <laughs> okay. Oasis, not my taste in music, but I would have thought they could sell out Wembley. Or yes, that's them. where it's going to be. Don's only... going to be the only one at the O2 <laughs> gap. <laughs> I had this when I was watching when I was watching you boys yesterday. I just couldn't get out of my head this vision that Don sat at the O2 on his own. Yes, and he, <laughs> and he can hear the music from Wembley. Yes. <laughs> 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 Supernova's place yeah, from he's Wembley there. Stadium. Yes. Okay. And so, so is, is, can this nothing would nothing would say Don Hutchison more than no. that. No. Uh, can can this person sleep on your on your sofa, Gab? Is that okay? Can we arrange that? Absolutely. The the the, the more yeah. the merrier. We we have ample room. We're gonna we're gonna redo the attic. So. Oh wow. Um, yes. Just for the Oasis Bring concert. Your own... yeah. Yeah, but yeah, what, what? For, we're, we're gonna we're gonna pay for the renovations by by, by yeah. charging people floor yeah, space. Perfect. Yeah, but there's That's one the caveat to that. What's that? The person sleeping at Gab's. The, and the bedtime story is Gab reading him the, the rules around profit and sustainability. Yep, yeah. uh, all explaining the new Champions League yes. draw. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is gonna right. I'm gonna go to Gab first because you two are gonna have to think. Gab, uh, what? I, what? Oh I don't even know what the question is. <laughs> right. But I refute that statement. Okay. So would you like this question first? No. Okay, good. Right, Gab, what is your favourite non-football sports moment of all time? Favourite non-football mm. sports moment mm. of all time? It's a tough one. Um, well, I think it's going to be something Super Bowl related, obviously. And I would assume the, uh, the, the Philly special. Trey Burton to to Nick Foles, and before that, Nick Foles runs over to Doug Peterson, and you know says, "You want Philly, Philly?" He says, "Let's do it," and boom, and uh, the evil uh, Tom Brady and that nonsense team that he plays for, uh, they were vanquished. 
There we go. Eagles beating the Patriots. Uh, was I right? <laughs> Craig? Well, there are... Andy Murray winning Wimbledon. Really? Honestly? No. I would not have guessed that for a million years. <laughs> no, that's, that's, I don't believe that. No. What? You'd have you don't really like, like tennis. Up, Why is that a wind-up? <laughs> the first British person to win it since Arthur Ashe. British. Yeah, but you're not like, you don't like tennis. I know. So why are you saying that? Because it's the first thing that came to my head. <laughs> no, the first British hit it since Arthur Ashe. He's American. Who? Arthur Ashe. He had some British in the bar. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. Is he American? Yeah. This has gone all wrong. <laughs> He's American. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Arthur Ashe is American. All right, the first British... <laughs> you, you, you've been pretending to be Don for too long. <laughs> He's the first British person to win it. She's beyond born. Right. Yeah. Good. All right, on here. Oh. Tiger Woods winning the Masters. Ah. Yeah. The comeback? Uh, the comeback. Yes. I, this, I don't know. OK, yeah. yeah, see, that's why I went to Gap. Right, Steve, where are we going? We're going back in time, I, I imagine. No, do you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to go to something that probably isn't as significant as a Super Bowl or a, okay. or a Wimbledon well, final. Yeah. I once, I was in, in Norway at one of the big league... The athletics. Athletics. Yes. One of the big league. Yeah. Uh, games, and I watched a 10,000 metres race, and for I would say the last five or six laps, I was like on, the, I was there because there was there was there was probably three of them for the last four, and then two broke away for the last two laps, and they were they were sprinting. It was unreal, and they were going, but it was. I was sitting thinking, is this is this a setup? Because one would go ahead and then the other would get in behind. Right. I mean, of all so the historic the sustained, moments over in history, for, this is yours. For, I'm telling you, for a sustained period of time, okay. I was actually on the edge of my seat. You right. know, it wasn't there wasn't a case where somebody scores a goal and you in the euphoria last late a couple of seconds, then you back down. Right. This thing went on for oh, I don't know, five minutes. Wow. I was hanging on. I think I could have had a million five, guesses and not got fear. The atmosphere in the stadium. In the in the uh, in Norway was yeah. absolutely incredible. Oh, okay, there we go. Brilliant. Ah. <laughs> oh, you know, oh, if you don't want an answer, no, it's, it's a nice answer. answer. No, no, it's, no, it's a nice answer. So I was at this greyhound race once. <laughs> I was at this greyhound race and there was just three <laughs> greyhounds running around. I was hey, so excited. Did, did, greyhound, greyhound, did the greyhound do a poo before the race? <laughs> oh. Great. Because that's a sign. If you're a betting man, that's a sign. It's ready. Okay. That's what I was told. OK. Well, I mean, <laughs> you've been told many things that you've been believing. <laughs> the greyhound. <laughs> right, sorry. Craig, if Chelsea continues to keep the standard they set last weekend, do you think you'll need to venture out to the positivity corner anytime soon? They won't. Oh, that's what he said yesterday. He was well, like straight I, I, down on it, wasn't No, it? no, but, I, you know, I was very positive about... It was about yesterday, what are you know? <laughs> They were terrific, particularly in the second half. Uh, absolutely terrific, the way they played. And again, I say down to the way the coach wants them to play a little quicker forward and all that we talked about the other day. Pace of play was immense. But the only team for me currently that's been able to keep the standard or keep the bar almost as high every week is Man City. Every other one of sort of Liverpool and Arsenal have sort of dropped below at some point. And so to keep that standard, right. there's nothing we've seen in the last... 12 months, 18 months to suggest that that is going to continue. I'll give Maresca some credit though. That was a big change in how, how they played. Yeah. So if he can keep that somewhere close, they're going to be a much more difficult team to play against and they're going to be much better to watch. Thank you very much, the guys. Thank you very much, Gav. Casino tonight in Monaco. What's the plan? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's getting on. It's, it's about 12.30 over here. So, yes, I mean, just... Uh, change into my uh, black tie <laughs> and uh, head on over to the oh. Monte Carlo Casino. Well, I uh, hear there's a good 10,000 metre race near you. There's a good 10,000 metre race That's gap it. if Thank you want to go and watch the... Uh... No fun. <laughs> Thank you very much. ESPN FC back tomorrow. Is the draw tomorrow? The draw must be tomorrow. Yeah, what? So what? The, the draw, draw is yeah, tomorrow. I'm I'm so watching it. Tomorrow, Craig will be watching it, live tweeting it. Be sure to check that out. Uh, ESPN FC then returns Real Madrid as well in action.